What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Stone Block 2. And sadly guys, it's our last episode. Oh no. What? <clears throat> we can move on to bigger and better things. And more mod packs. So, let's uh... We're gonna get the Crimson Ritual done today, which is the last thing we have left. Uh, but let's start with a little base tour. A little, little farewell shout out to this area. This is where we spawned. It is a little different. This is the last thing we actually did with the HDE, HDPE pellets to get our transmutation tablet and our Tome of Knowledge. But this is the very block we spawned on. Well, not the very block, because it's dirt. It's... But this is exactly where we spawned. If I died, this is where I would spawn again. So, this is our first tunnel. Well, it's now decorated and done with all of the machines that we could personally use. They're not tied into anything. Uh, but we, we actually didn't get done decorating the whole base. Well, we got a pretty good bit of it. If it was a bigger mod pack, we'd be able to finish it, I'm sure. Uh, and then we got uh, our farm. This is the first build we did in this mod pack. We got, and the first thing we decorated together, I believe there was like two time lapses doing this. This in the front walk area. I really do like the way this turned out. These Stormcraft crystals add a lot. I mean, they're small, but they add a lot to it. A lot of texture in there. This is just a fake door. So we can work in the back back here. And we got our little basement with our lava, passive lava, passive water gin. Our magmatic dynamos for power. These are just the specter coils doing their thing. And this is our first energy setup where we pretty much made free energy for the most part. Just taking seeds, carrots, and potatoes, making biofuel. Taking that biofuel, putting it in bioreactors. All right, but we dug out this whole area uh, at one time. And then this was the next part we made. And then this was just, this was a mycelium room, which you never actually rebuilt. I started decorating this a little bit just to kind of get a feel of how I wanted it to look. Um, but sadly, we didn't get to finish it. The, the ME system used to be up there. And which is now all the auto crafting. Didn't get to finish those snares either. There's a lot of stuff I wish we had time to finish, but since the mod pack's over with, sadly we're just out of time. And then we made our screens for our custom mob farms down in the basement. So if we want to spawn blazes, we just click that button. We want to spawn endermen, click that button. So we can pick and choose and we can change these anytime we wanted. Uh, let's see, what else did we do? We are draconic rooms down here. I did get this corner decorated out of the tree. Decoration just takes a long time to do as well. But we did get all 12 chaotic fusion cores, set up a little automation on this, like nothing fancy, nothing fully automated, just semi-automated, I guess. This was sitting here because I needed obsidian for something, and I just had EMC sitting in there, so it's still there. Uh, this is our uh, dragon egg farms. All these make dragon eggs, all four of them. It's what we're mainly using, one of our main things for EMC. Uh, this is our chickens. We didn't do too much with chickens. We did get the draconium chickens, the awakened draconium, and just some basic metal ones. And these are just basic resources like coal, redstone, quartz, uh, glowstone, flint, diamond, lapis. Uh, basic building things like sand, glass, and oak. And then if I need dyes, I just came over here and used this. These emeralds are also feeding our, ME, our EMC system. Uh, just going straight into the links down there. Uh, we made a little tunnel going down to our tier 8 draconic orb. I think this is about as far as I got decorating down to here. I didn't even touch this side. I wanted it to be like a little oasis pond there. But we got did this and just kind of worked around this area. Built that little hut for our, uh, for our draconic uh, infusion. 
And then if we come over here and go this way, this is our tier eight orb right here. Never actually got to finish decorating this room either. This is our extreme reactors control room. We got uranium chickens here that are constantly feeding it. Then we're taking the trash from the reactor and just throwing it in here. This, this orb is crazy. Oh boy, fell in a hole. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're at 26.6 trillion RF and we're not even at 1% full. Like that's just crazy. That is crazy. Uh, we did add a ender quarry to get another, um, another rack. We're not actually running it right now. I don't have a chest taking anything out, so it's just kind of sitting there. And then you come down this way. And this goes into the hell biome. I started decorating this off camera, and I don't even think anybody's seen this yet. Did like a smoke effect going down to the bottom. Uh, down here. And this is going to be like pillars and stuff going up. But this is where we made our nether, work, nether star farm. So this just makes nether stars for us. It does its job pretty well. This is our passive mob farm. Never actually moved over our selective mob farm either. It's still doing its thing back here. Yeah. So this is our selective mod farm where we can pick and choose. Oh, I don't have a pickaxe on me, but down below, when you click it, it sends a pulse and it lets you, it puts in the uh, mob imprisonment tool. So that was pretty fun to make. Uh, and then the newest addition to our base is where we're going to end the season on our base. <laughs> and that's the Thomcraft room. I love the way this room turned out. I love the colors in here. We got the uh, rainbow generator. It's making 225 million RF for a tick. For a tick, we set up all of our, I have, let me get up there so we can look at it. We set up our, uh, here. So work. All the generators up here. <laughs> the snow generator is kind of going a little crazy. Uh oh. That's no bueno. We need to get into this armor. There we go. Get up there. Uh, so, yeah, the snow generator is kind of going a little cray cray. <laughs> but we got snow for days. Thanks, you frosty generator. Thank you. Uh, but yeah. We did this kind of two different ways. We took solidified XP. Or the... Yeah, the, the little boxes you get from mob drops. Put them in here. Made it into regular. And then Or the liquid. Then transferred the liquid. And then we get all the enchanted books we ever would need. And feed it into that. And then we did a custom... Potion generator. This should be full. This thing's like slap full. Running all day. And then we also, we kind of did it with the ME system and then did this little bit with emeralds. And as you can tell, you could probably run this whole entire thing off of that one emerald chicken. Once it got enough emeralds and everything. But we got plenty of emeralds, so we don't really have to worry about it. Oh, look. Look at that. We're making some more infinity down there. Yeah, this that was a fun little build there uh cobblestone goes there and there i'm waiting for these guys to finish we got 21 minutes before we can finish the crimson right it's the last thing we need and then thomcraft is done and back here is all the infinity cows you could uh ever want or end or need like I don't that's a lot of infinity cows but yeah it just constantly makes us infinity ingots for the most part which is pretty cool and that's pretty much just feeding our ME system which are, I mean there's a couple quests hello 
that we're just not going to be able to do because I'm not going to say we're at 35 trillion. I don't know why it keeps jumping like that. It's like it takes the three off. But we're at 35 trillion EMC. And the three the three quests I'm talking about, guys, is just... Um, is that Project E? Are these two? Just because, I mean, you just have to get so much EMC. 105 trillion EMC for that one. This one's like 422. That's just so much EMC, guys. And then this one is literally just taking all your EMC away and it's like nine quintillion like it is ridiculously high but what we will do is once we get done with this once these cows are ready so in another 19 20 minutes i just need one more bucket i think that's evil there's one there's one oh i gotta put a, another pedestal here yeah, so once we get another bucket of evil, we th this right should be done. And then once we're done, last thing we're going to do is we're going to see how much percentage we get on this big spender. I'm just going to click this and we're going to see how much we get. All right, guys. So if we can give it the book last episode, we didn't give us the sword of the Zephyr. When have we pulled it out? So let's try to make it real quick. So we need a thomium sword, shards. I should have everything here. Got the two shards. Got the the earth rock thing. Got my gauntlet. Oh, and the sword's already in the middle. So let's put this together. Uh, I did put uh, some stabilizers on the corners here to help keep this thing stable. So we shouldn't have any problems. Uh, so what, uh, one thing we do need to check is make sure we got this. So 30 modus, 30 air, and then 30 of that sword thingy. All right. So we got plenty of this It's 200, got a hundred of that. And then air should be full. So we should be good. Should I click this and then let us do its thing. I don't, I, hopefully it stays very stable because I totally didn't grab extras. This is pretty cool. A little stream. I like how this whole thing's set up. And then the way it tears stuff apart is pretty awesome too. Oh, did it just give it to us? Let's see. Yeah. Okay, so you have to craft that one. You have to actually have to infuse that one. There we go. And I just got done unlocking the runic shielding. So now we can go through and do the shielding. So we'll do this one, which is Salus Mundus. Uh, Salus Mundus and a, uh, Amber with a mundane ring. And this should be very stable as well. We do have extra of these. But I don't think we'll have a problem. I think I got plenty of all this stuff over there. Yeah, everything's going good. Oh, it all went up to stable. Hopefully we're okay. I think we should be good. There we go. Now it's back down to very stable. All right, so let's see what we need to do for runic shielding two. I might need to put some more protect in there, but we should have enough of everything else, which is pretty much the same thing. And then to get another one, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just more ombre, it looks like, for all these. So I'm going to get, well, this, if this is moderate. This is high. Ooh. It's gonna be a scary one, but we can uh, get the colossal star. That's right, because everything's unlocked. So there's another one. 
And we get a simple stag meal. So the rest of us just waiting for these two. Mm. All right, guys, we got our last bucket of liquid death and it goes on this pedestal. Mm. Now we should just be able to get our gauntlet. Oh boy. There's my thumb and now my, my gear. Wait, what? I don't know why I can't fly. It's really weird. Dangerously unstable. That's never good. Ow. Oh no, my cows are gonna die. Got him. I don't know why this isn't working. That was weird. Stop hitting me. All right, guys, we're on our last three. This thing has been making exploding noises and beating me up this whole time, but I think we might be all right now. Yeah, it's been doing that the whole time. But luckily we have pretty much one of everything extra. Some cases too. All right, so this is the last one. And I think we should be good. It'll start eating all the items here in a minute. And now it's eating all the items. Ow. Oh boy. Guys, we're so close. We're almost done. This book contains nothing but crazed ravings. That's awesome. Guys, we're done. We're done. Dominomicon. Crimson Rights. Give player all research. Oop. Oh, man. Now we get to go through and get all the stuff on our sidebar there. Hmm. I don't think I have another thumb. Thumb and not my Macon. I thought I made a couple. I mean, we could get one out here and look at everything that unlocked. It should be pretty much everything. Uh, there it is. Hey, look at that. I didn't even know these two were down here. Fortress. There's a lot of stuff that's unlocked. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. A lot of this stuff. We even got an extra tab. The Eldritch tab. It's pretty cool. Oh man. All right guys, that is it. We got all the chapters done except for this one. This is just literally waiting for EMC. Uh, so I think we're pretty much done. So we need to do, how much did we get? We got 41 trillion right now. I think, I don't know, let's click this button and see how, how much we get. And Wow. We're still at 1%, apparently. 
We turned in 29 trillion EMC. That's not right. Look at all these infinite ingots. Just let it rain infinity ingots for days. Oh my goodness, you can't. What just happened? I don't know. Something screwy is going on. All right, guys. That's it for this mod pack. I hope y'all enjoyed the journey with me. And I think the next one we're going to do is Project Ozone 3. That's a new pod pack. It looks pretty cool. Pretty tough. It'd be a, a nice, fun challenge. And if you liked the episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the thumbs up button, and leave a comment down below on any mod packs or anything that you guys would like to see on the channel or games and don't forget to check out my new darkest dungeon playlist it'd be fun it's just a relaxing little series but all right guys take it easy